Hello from CNN London, I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. Days after its flood disaster, Pakistan faces the risk of a public health calamity. The worst flooding in anyone's memory has taken a heavy toll. Officials estimate up to 1,500 people have died to so really far. understand the extent of the devastation, you, you need to visit the heart of the flooding, and Ardan Rivers did just that. So you can see here in the, the worst of the flood disaster hit the heart of one of the most violent areas in Pakistan, the northwest tribal regions, large parts of which are under Taliban control. CNN's Reza Say is in Islamabad, joins us now with more on that. What kind of impact, Reza, are, is the fact that the, the Pakistani military is having to deal with this disaster, this, uh, this uh, humanitarian uh, natural disaster, as well as now dealing with a military offensive that continues to rage on? Offers of aid are pouring into Pakistan. The European Commission is pledging about $39 million to help flood victims, while the UN has pledged up to $10 million. So has the United States. The U.S. is also rushing helicopters and rescue boats to the region, along with prefabricated bridges, um, as we were hearing from Reza, much needed bridges, 50,000 meals and water filtration units. Australia is providing another $5 million, and China has also promised $1.5 million for aid efforts. Now, if you would like to help, Ari Ramos is at the World Weather Center with the very latest forecast for Pakistan and other regions that she's keeping a close eye on. And Mari, tell us what more can Pakistanis affect now? Uh, I should say. Yeah, you know what? Again, we're looking at the possibility of more heavy rain. Monita is trying to battle the, the raging wildfires continuing there yep. in western Russia. Well, the death toll there is climbing, and so is the number of Russian towns and cities that are threatened by the country's worst wildfires in decades. At least 40 people have been killed as a relentless heat wave, as Mari's been talking but about. The impact of this firestorm will likely be felt well beyond Russia's borders, perhaps in a grocery store aisle near you. Senior international correspondent Matthew Chance looks at the likely economic consequences of Russia's searing summer. We have this report just coming into CNN. There are reports of uh, clashes between Israeli soldiers and Lebanese soldiers uh, in the uh, southern Lebanon and Israel border uh, area. According to a report, according to the head of the Lebanese Army Information Directorate, uh, an Israeli patrol tried to enter the disputed territory on the uh, Lebanese-Israeli border to uh, reportedly to install cameras. And when it came to cutting a tree there, Le the Lebanese Army had asked uh, the... UNIFIL, which is the uh, the United Nations uh, uh, troops there, to be the arbitrator, but the, apparently the IDF, that's the Israeli Defense Forces, did not comply. Again, this is according to the head of the Lebanese Army Information Directorate, and um, they're saying that the IDF entered Lebanese territory, which led Lebanon, the Lebanese Army, to open fire. They're going on to say that the IDF retaliated by artillery fire, hitting a house in the village of Adaisa, and injuring one soldier and one civilian both uh, lightly. Uh, they are saying that, again, the, the Lebanese army saying the clashes have stopped uh, and there is a cautious calm, but there are other reports that are indicating that uh, two rockets were fired into Israel from Lebanon, but these are, again, other reports that we are also getting at this time. Again, what we're just saying now is uh, clashes between Israeli and Lebanese forces in the uh, southern Lebanon, Israel area border area, uh, but according to the Lebanese uh, Army Information Directorate, there is uh, cautious calm right now. We'll bring you more on that as we get it. Meantime, violent clashes in Pakistan's largest city, apparently set off by the death of a politician, Karachi's deputy police superintendent. And I'm Monito Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.